Okay, C. Lindelof videos. Exponential regressions in the form of a times b to the power of x is equal to y on your TI Inspire cast. I think this is going to be relatively simple, so I'm going to try to keep it quick. I'm not going to show you the plotting of it in this video. What I will do is I'll do a separate video for the plotting because I don't think that you frankly care that much about that. Uh, this uh, example actually comes out of a college calcul uh, business calculus course. So here we go. All I did was I went to my home screen. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select through. I'm just going to go down here. Right, I'm going to go down through here. When I get to here, I'm going to move over using my right cursor so I get to lists. This is important. This, is, this has to go in list. Hit enter. So I'm in list. I'm paying attention <clears throat> to what column I'm in. I'm in the A column. If you're going to export this to like Microsoft Excel or something, you could name those columns or whatever and make this more of a table. But for our re purposes, I'm not going to do that. So what I'm interested in in my problem is this. I have this document here that says, uh, Major League Baseball average salaries in thousands from 1990 to 2008. And we're asked to make a linear regression out of this. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put all these values into the table. The one thing that I'm going to do differently here is I'm going to call 1990 year 0, 93 would be year 3, 6. So I'm going to call this from year uh, distance from year, z from year 1990. So let's see how this works out. I go back to this. I'm just going to put in those values. 1990 would have a value of 0, 1993 would have a value of 3, 96, right, ad nauseum, 99, 12, 15, 18, right? Okay, then from here I'm just going to go over and I'm going to fill in the values from my list that came with those. Uh, the, at year 0 was 589,062. Um, I wish now that I kind of done all this first, but I, it's important for you guys to see like step by step, I guess. And if it's not, just go forward a little bit through the video and don't mess with this part that is too easy for you. Uh, and last, 31.55. Enter. From here, you're like, okay, now what? From here, it gets really easy, right? I'm just going to go from here. I'm going to go to menu. I'm going to menu. I'm going to go over to statistics. From statistics, I'm going to go over to stat calculations, right? And then I'm going to take my time because they have all these regressions are available. And the one I want is A, exponential regression. Hit enter. Now, when we talked earlier, I said, remember where you had your, what columns you used. I use column A. And this piece is crucially important that you do this. Otherwise, the calculator won't be able to find your data. So hit control. And right here, put those square brackets. Okay? So it's telling you where that set of data is. And then, obviously, the second set of data was in B. And I'm going to do the same thing there. Control, hello, control, and then this thing here, right? Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go down through here. And they ask you where you want your data, and that's where I want mine. I want my data in column C. So just be careful because it could put it in column H, and you'll be looking for it for, for the rest of your life. And after that, it's the really hard part. You just hit OK. And here is your here are your values, right? So we've got to go up a little bit, I think. So here are our values. Our A value is 692. Our B value is 1.09453. And you can actually lift those values by, by copying them and putting them into your equation if you're going to do a lot of stuff using this, making a lot of predictions. Um, so your equation would be 692.82 times 1.09453 to the x power would be the exponential regression of that, and you could use that to make a lot of decisions. So I try to make this short, and I hope it's really helpful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know, and I'm going to make a video just showing how I would plot this data. All right? Thanks for watching. If you haven't already uh, subscribed, please do. Thanks.